Now, fire crews have to keep health and safety in mind while battling these fires. All first responders do, including the American Red Cross. The look of the relief efforts has changed this year, but the need for help hasn't. Well, experts say that we are in for a really busy wildfire season. Fire season is when American Red Cross services are needed most. The only different thing is that we are in a pandemic and that um, we are facing some more challenges and the Red Cross is taking that into consideration. The Red Cross has gone virtual for much of the relief efforts, all with health and safety in mind. If we're providing disaster health services or disaster mental health services, we're trying to do that virtually. If we have to be on scene, if we have to be out in the public doing work, we're practicing social distancing, we're utilizing PPE. Every time we're out in the public, we have masks. Though the organization is prepared, they still need volunteers. Red Cross expects only 33% of their workforce to be available during the pandemic because of high risk populations and other factors. Normally in a disaster, we might be able to get volunteers from other areas in the country. Because we're not really doing that, we're asking community members to come and get trained up and become volunteers so that should the need arise, we can respond to that locally. Volunteers can virtually help families that have lost a home, assist in shelters, and use their unique expertise. Any kind of uh, health services background or current licensed uh, person, we could really use volunteers like that because of um, the additional need for health screenings. Anyone interested just needs to go to redcross.org slash volunteers. You'll be contacted by a local recruiter in your area and they'll go from there and you'll fill out a simple application process and you can join. Our number one priority is the health and safety of our volunteers, our staff and the people that we serve. Now, it's an organization that does so much and has so many resources. Anyone interested that wants to know more can find that information on our website, yaktrynews.com.